It's 8 o'clock and time for another August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? But that poor boy. A reminder also that due to the murder, this weekend's tulip festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cab. Or wear the jacket in the cab. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Sam. Um, I've got news. Uh, we've done a reading. The Five of Swords. That's the same card as yesterday. Let's hope it's not the Knight of Wands. This doesn't look good. It's fine. This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in a deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. I know. I get asked a lot. Bet it's a ten of swords. happening again. There's going to be another murder. Then Lexi did her thing, and now we have a name. Ellis Munro. If you can wish it, you can do it. You must be Sam. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. First Dorota, now me. Yes. We were... friends. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing. The cello, you know? I guess... We talked for a little while, and then she asked me for a drink after the show. After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. I thought we were just going to chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. Then she kissed me. I was so shocked. She was so attractive. So, I kissed her back. This is just between us, right? We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. I'm not going into detail, Sam. We pledged each other, multiple times. Oscar, yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind, but she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. I said some guys like to watch, so tell him it would be sexy if he could look but he couldn't touch. As far as I know, it worked. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. 
that doesn't make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? No, someone she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. We're co-hosts on the radio. Oh, sorry. You know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8.30. On air, we both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe to promote the show. No, Zach keeps asking, but I just don't want to. Not for him, but Dorota did. She gave me the pictures as a gift. She looked amazing. No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night though. I was a Hollywood actress and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was a pool of blood, and it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. What do you think that means, Sam? I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Or mine. That sounds reassuring. I hope it's not just words, Sam. You've kind of just asked about Dorota since you got here. Sam, you forgot your phone. that happens in each aspect of her life. That's why she hasn't filled those holes. Well, well, I can tell you. Sense of self. Monroe. Everyone knows her. She's a local radio star here. I always get the shot, Sam. One way or another. And if I'm honest, I think you're also playing perhaps to be the person you wish. <sighs> Sam, do me a favor, go easy on Violet. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. We've got a new target, Ellis Monroe. Ellis said she was in a relationship with Dorota. She kissed a girl and she liked it. She told you where John Pope, or Poe, is going to be next. Rain still says he was praying in his room, alone. You say Bronwyn and Lexi's alibis don't add up. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. And he keeps asking Ellis to pose nude. Could be motive. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Did she starved herself? She'd done it before. She could do it again. Except before was different. Excellent work, gold star for you. <laughs> Oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. She's only nine and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. 
Otherwise I might have to smother you in your sleep. What's your name? I'm Sophia, pleased to meet you. Do you want to know a secret? Violet was taken by aliens in their ship. Shh, she doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that. Sophia, your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. <laughs> now, Sam, how can I help you? Of course, Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> Yes, I believe I did. She was here once for something. I don't remember now. She has a wicked imagination for her age. <sighs> Do you think you're sitting here now? Perception is reality, Sam. I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont, just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. Why are you talking about this again? You understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. I don't really want to. About a month ago, the guest house was empty and I was alone in my bedroom. All I could hear was dripping. Cold tap. Drip. 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 And then it began. I could smell iron, a strong metallic smell. Then I could taste it on my tongue. And then weightlessness, like time and space had stopped. That was the first time they took me. It's happened five times, even on clozapine. Get that strange aura, then I'm gone. I tests for epilepsy, amongst other things. All the scans were normal. As far as I know, I've gone. It's difficult to explain. I'm stuck in the wall of an enormous room made from these wooden vines, except the vines slowly move and drip with pain. My head is pushed out like I'm a trophy. If I look to my side, there are others, heads, all prisoners, being experimented on. They rearrange us like decorations, suck us backwards into the darkness and then thrust us back through the wall. And when they return me home, I'm broken. Cuts. Bruises. Memories. But I obviously can't vouch for that. Why, why were they crushed? I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. I want to help though. That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. Mm. Not necessarily. If it's a traveler, then they just jump into any vessel, have their fun and go. It just needs to be someone nearby. A little bit. What did you want to know? A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of 
coming of age ceremony. Yes, a rite of passage. Running havoc in our dimension is rewarded in theirs. Not fair, is it? Three is a powerful number. There's a divine balance to it in our universe anyway. But maybe it doesn't mean anything where the traveler is from. Maybe three is just the carry-on limit for interdimensional travel. Was it a gold coin? Hmm. That's more of a serial killer thing than a possessed by a traveler thing. It's a bit showy, but no, there's no guarantees. No. I can do a reading if you want. Nine of Cups. This is a very positive card. Is Zach a suspect? Something feels wrong. He's too smug, too self-congratulating, like he's got away with something. I don't like this, Sam. I don't like this one bit at all. Yes, of course. Anything. I've already been doing that, but sure, I'll keep at it. Maybe it'll feel sorry for me and finally put out. His body, stepping over its limp legs without even looking. Yes, I met her at the radio station. I was offering my services. Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. And we couldn't stop it. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. The Butcher of Birmingham received three life sentences and won't be seeing the light of day anytime soon. We know it wasn't him, though. We know it was a traveller. He stood and raised his foot. It would have to be a good one. So what's the news about Ellis? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. You got it. Me and the spirit world are going to have a serious chat. I'll get back to you when I find something. To erase the sight. It didn't work, of course. Ivan slumped to the floor as Uni padded over to... It's nine o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Investigations into the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw are continuing this evening. Miss Shaw was found dead in her home at approximately 10 p.m. last night in what police are describing as a puzzling case. Residents are urged to be cautious until the perpetrator is caught. I cannot stress this enough, August. Stay safe out there. You mean the world to me. In other news, Monroe has been detained on urgent business, so you're stuck with me until she returns. Never fear, Monroe fans. We still have lots of pre-recordings, so you can relax with her angelic tones. That's nine o'clock with Poe and Monroe. There's of a tall stone tower. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name, and no, he's not a Russian spy, but he does have a criminal record. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Looks like he got off on a technicality by all accounts. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Be careful, Sam. If you're going to ask him about this, it could be a flight risk. And you know, there's a good chance he could be the killer. Doors behind you. Rain's still a suspect. 
No corroborated alibi, Bronwyn Castle has one, Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. Zach Weston says he was in his studio last night. No one corroborates. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. That's it. Moving forward and keep striving for- Hey, I'm going. There's too many people asking questions. It's exhausting. I'm off to stay at my aunt's. I'll come back tomorrow, but I've said everything I can say. I can see straight through it from Probably right here. Why? I didn't realize I was under house arrest. Thanks for the advice. I hope I'm not the only suspect. More. They tell you to do- You're the detective. Monroe just called. This is madness. Who would want to hurt her? We've worked together for years. She's the light to my shade, the angel to my demon, the diamond to my lump of coal. She told me to say all those things. Heavens no. I have a wife and three children, beloved spawn of my loins. Monroe and I are good friends, that's all. Only a madman, or woman. Monroe is August's sweetheart. Poe and Monroe, that was her idea. Our show. We were just another local radio station before that. It was Monroe who decided we should have a theme. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. Don't tell me you haven't heard it, Detective. That's what the Free Radio Project is all about. Uniting August via the airwaves. Monroe's been delivering free radios anywhere people might want to listen. Doctor surgeries, hairdressers, the guest house. I believe she charmed the local electrical store into donating them, in exchange for free advertising, of course. We interviewed her about her scholarship not too long ago. Do you think whoever killed Dorota plans to kill Monroe? What makes you think she's in danger? Caro? Does this have anything to do with the gentleman who stopped by? On air, uh, much of our broadcast is pre-recorded, but we always do the hourly news live. You know, this town is fascinating. There's a lot more to it than meets the eye. Have you ever read up on the real history of August? The official story is that Mary August retired from a life on the high seas, found a nice spot here, and used her ill-gotten gains to establish a town. But that's not what really happened. It's true that Mary August was a pirate, but she didn't retire. Her ship was sunk on the rocks just off the coast. Mary and all of her crew sought refuge in a small fishing town, this one. They slaughtered everyone. Men, women, and children, all dead and dismembered in their own homes. The bodies were dumped in a mass grave. Well, the body parts. And the pirates moved in. No one knows. It seems at some point it was built over and then forgotten about. It could be under the school, or the church, or right beneath our feet. On that note, I should probably get back to the booth. The show must go on. 
Death threats be damned. Look after Monroe, detective. She's the only Monroe I've got. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented cellist who had recently been granted a place at Juilliard, was found strangled at her home last night. With the murderer still at large, Chief DuPont has urged residents to remain calm and stresses there is almost no chance of anyone else being harmed. Alice, if you're listening, let me know you're okay. In other news, a handful of August residents have reported seeing strange lights in the sky earlier this evening. The lights, which witnesses describe as searingly bright, were spotted over the east edge of town, past the fire station. Have you seen any strange lights? Or for that matter, little green men? Let me know. That's 10 o'clock with Poe. Dog, actually. Oh, right. Of course. It's, you were right about Asian, a Chinese bronze lion dog statue. Oh, it's you. I was hoping it might be Zack. No. And I've got some very important news for him if he ever shows up. Yes. If he ever shows up. No? Oh! Him, yes. I've heard him on the radio. Never met him in real life, though. Is he a suspect? I thought they broadcast the news live. Yes, now I remember. It's the one in the hall. Sometimes cuts through the uh, unbearable silence in this place. Not really. I expected her to be blonde for some reason. Robin has a, um, a willingness or wish to re- Sorry, Sam, what can I do for you? Yeah, I, I always cry around this time of night. Um, what's the point, Sam, huh? If we can't save them. Mercury is a curse. It's like a tourist guide for murders. <sighs> I try for Alexi and Rain to make them think that we can make a difference, make a change, but we haven't so far. What if we can't make a change? Maybe if we could just save one person, Sam. Alice, we need to save her. We need to. It rings a bell, but no. Sorry, Sam. <sighs> Not really. But it wants to know why you're hesitating. Mercury thinks you are. I can see its point. Ellis is in danger and you're still here asking questions. You have to stop asking questions and start taking actions. Sam, this is your time. Be ready. Could be a, the beginning of, of finding answers to... Honestly, you don't. Once they're caught, a few hours later, they've hopped timelines into someone else. We just keep chasing them. Continuously trying to stop them ruining lives. 
Yes. But it kills the vessel too. So, you could have a traveller inside you right now, and if I killed you, you'd both be dead. I'm not sure. It's a lovely place. It has the third most high-rise buildings of any city in the world. So that's what this is about. Chief Dupont has finally dug up my old record. I am Lawrence Petrovsky. Victoria Cheng. A very good painter. I didn't kill her though. I was trying to save her. Hong Kong. It was our third encounter with a traveller. We'd managed to trap her on the roof of an apartment complex. Roughly translated, the building was called Flight, which was ironic. When the traveller realised we had it cornered, it tried to jump off. I managed to grab Victoria's ankle, but I couldn't hold on. <laughs> Hong Kong being Hong Kong, there was about 37 tourists that filmed the whole thing. So to some people, it looked like I was dangling her over the edge of a building to meet her doom. But I wasn't. I was trying to save her. Move slowly towards Long. And what did you want exactly? Oh my god, who told you about Victoria? She died, jumped off a building. We tried to save her. Well, Rain tried to save her. Sam, we need to save Ellis. Victoria's already gone. A who, what, Petrov's what? And uh, no, should I? Quite a lot, but I'm not sure how much of it is useful. Apparently this town has a lot of spirits with a lot of unfinished business. One woman was looking for her daughter, and there was a girl looking for her mum. It was awful. They were both there, but they couldn't see each other. I couldn't help them. Yes, the general message is anyone that tries to stop Ellis dying will be punished. Sam, be careful please. He's off the radio. I don't really know him. Actually, I'm glad you're here. I really, really want to do a reading for you right now. You know, to help. Great. Let me just draw three cards for you. Um, I shuffled before you got here. Okay. No. Oh. The Two of Cups. That's mysterious. Is there anyone you feel a spark of attraction to? Maybe someone you've met recently? The Lovers. I did not expect that. It seems this attraction has the potential to be life-changing. If you want it to be. And finally, the Knight of Cups. This card is about pursuing your heart's desire. I think it's time to tell that someone special how you really feel. Wow, what an interesting reading. Does it mean anything to you? Sorry, I guess my intuition must be on the fritz tonight. It sort of looks like a whistle. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's part of it. Whistle. I'm not sure what the ball on the end's for. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I delivered radios all over town. I don't think I should have bothered with some of them, though. I don't think... Violet, is it? I don't think Violet liked me very much. Wells content. 
It sounds awful. Yeah, quite. It's now pronounced. Thank you.